afternoon and welcome back to the Chiron. It is an absolutely stunning day today. Beautiful blue skies. It's about 32 degrees. Oh, it's just absolutely, absolutely stunning. Sublime. Silent. Apart from a few birds. Uh, you'd hate it. Don't come. Don't come. You, you, don't waste your time. Um, am I going to start every video talking about my tomatoes? Probably because they give me a little bit of a buzz actually. I've counted 24 tomatoes on there which uh, is astonishing for me. First time I've ever grown tomatoes well first time I've ever grown anything really apart from the beans that I grew earlier in the year which actually one of which is still trying to grow and actually got a flower on it unbelievable so I uh, I put one of my bird baths on the floor that did confuse some of the birds but um, yeah just in case there's a little hedgehog friend wandering around uh, although that bowl today has actually melted. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. What I was going to say. Right, quick question about carrots. When they're growing and they're tiny, they're just starting off. Do they, are they orange? Are they always orange from the moment they start? Or are they white? You know, red, blue, green, any other colour. Um, yeah, a bit of advice on the carrots. Or do they become orange later when they're bigger? Um, yeah, be good to know. A uh, quick look at the vegetable patch. Yeah, nothing, nothing super to report. Have you ever wondered? Probably, I'm sure you have. What's supporting these old bags in the garden? I bet, I bet you have. I bet you thought to yourself, what are those sticks? If you have, you probably need to get out more. But I'll tell you what they are. It's this stuff. It's a plastic pipe. It's a plastic conduit, which was all around the house. I've still got a little bit in the house. Um, in situ I'll show you. Yeah if you look up there I've left a bit there just to remind me of how bad the uh, original electrics were. So the reason I'm telling you that is because I actually reused some of it in the bathroom which uh, I'm quite pleased about actually this has come out this has come out pretty good And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased how tidy that's come out. I should have probably painted the uh, the plastic pipe, the conduit. But what he's done, it's uh, it's hidden the wire that goes to the fan, and it comes up behind the radiator. Uh, yeah, probably best to ignore the 13 amp plug and the switch, uh, and that goes up there. Yeah, it's good to uh, make use of that again. But yeah, that 13 amp plug. I don't like the idea of having something permanently wired. In the bathroom, I like the idea of having a switch, even though you shouldn't really have switches and plugs in bathrooms. I don't seem to mind here in France, but I'll probably replace that with a, um, a spur. So the bathroom's finished for now. Really pleased that um, I've got this um, fan working on a switch, and the fan I have ordered the fan for the toilet. It's going to be tricky to fit that one, I think. That's actually going to go in the wall and actually live in the wall, in between the two faced uh, parts of the wall. So yeah, that's going to be a bit of a tricky one to fit, I think, but um, that should be here by the weekend. So I can switch off a little bit from the bathroom for now and concentrate on other things. You may have noticed, just walking past, um, there's a switch missing there. I wonder where that went. Got to buy one. I went to shopping today. I should have bought one. It was on my list. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's donated using the coffee.com link, uh, donated to my little project here in France. Uh, you are amazing. Uh, what can I say? Fantastic. If you'd like to help me out, um, I'll leave the link below. Uh, that would be great. So I've been a bit under the weather the last couple of days actually. Uh, I didn't feel good at all while I was doing that bathroom. I'm really glad it's. Uh, uh, it is sort of kind of finished for the time being until that other, other fan comes to put in behind the loo. Uh, so I need to concentrate on uh, what I'm going to do next really and probably a priority is the wood stove. Um, I've been trying to kick that can down the road really and concentrate on other things but there's about four or five weeks left of warm nights when I think the temperatures are forecast to start dipping into single digits at night. Um, so, you know, we're coming towards the end of summer. This could be the last really, really warm day. Um, so I need to start thinking about that. Uh, I have freed up a heater out of the bathroom. 
which might end up going in the bedroom or somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to start thinking about this room uh, and the wood stove. So uh, I'm gonna have to think about putting a hole in that wall. And what with all the cracks in that wall, I'm kind of nervous about doing it, but I'll have to have a think and uh, carry on working. Anyway, that's all for the time being. Thank you for your donations and I will see you soon.